The following is my imagining of what may have happened at Playtime Co. between Experiment 814 and Experiment 1006. Let's take a look at a conversation Elliot Ludwig is having with one of his head researchers. I want to create an orphanage. Playtime has been providing joy for children with toys for years. It's time that we do a greater service by providing stability and top-notch education for orphan children from all around the world. Sure, everyone would love that. Great PR for the company. By the way, how are the rodent experiments progressing? I've hit a dead end, but I'm not giving up. I'm sure the poppy flower has the potential to revive those who have expired. That's the spirit, sir. You know, the orphanage program could be useful in this matter. How do you mean? This might be the opportunity we were looking for. The chance to see if we were able to get more favorable results from larger specimens. I'm not going to risk the lives of children. Are you mad? Of course, sir. That's not what I'm insinuating. We could expose them to low doses of the poppy flower while they are still alive. How would we do that? Aerosolization. I think the best way to maximize the subject's absorption of the mixture isn't topical, but through the respiratory system. Make it a gas that they are able to breathe in. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to explore alternate avenues, but I'm not willing to experiment on children. That would be completely unethical and out of the question. I understand, sir but I think rodents are no longer useful to us. How about volunteers? As in humans? Well, maybe if they're consenting adults. I suppose we could start with that. Very good, sir. I have some very willing participants in our logistics division ready to go. They do pretty much anything we ask of them. Very dedicated employees. If we do any human trials, I want to be the first. But sir, you're the head of the company. We couldn't risk harming you. If I'm not willing to do it myself, I certainly wouldn't ask anyone else to do it first. I'll be the first human subject, and that is that. That's noble of you, Mr. Ludwig. Are you certain? We don't yet fully understand what the formula can do. Yes, I'm certain. We will run a couple hundred or so more experiments on larger mammals, and then we will be ready. Very good, sir. I will have canines, felines, and primates delivered to our laboratories. Some years later, we see the same researcher approach Laith Pierre, the current head of innovation at Playtime. Let's listen in on their conversation. Mr. Pierre, it was a success. Elliot Ludwig survived the process, but he's changed. He's not the man that he once was. I don't need to be bored with the details. Does this mean he's out of our way? Yes, I'm afraid so. He has been effectively put out of commission and is locked up in a secure observation room. We are now free to pursue the other methods of experimentation we had previously discussed. Good. Proceed with Operation Playcare. Maybe those children will finally be of some use to the company. Ludwig was slowly bleeding the company dry running that orphanage. So, that was one possible interpretation I made of how we got to where we are today in Chapter 2. I ran with the idea that Elliot Ludwig was the test subject in Experiment 1006, and that it was only after he was no longer able to act as the CEO of Playtime that they started doing whatever it was they did to the orphans. Do you think Elliot Ludwig became Experiment 1006? How do you imagine Elliot's character? Do you see him as a person who genuinely cared about children? Take care.